Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 108, 108. So today's episode, guys, I'm going to show you um, another Windows 8 uh, tip and trick. It's not, a, it's not actually a trick, but it is updates and tips on the Windows 8. Uh, believe it or not, Microsoft has da -da -da -da, created the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit, the ADK for the Windows 8. What does this mean? Uh, it's basically a collection of tools that you can use to customize, assess, and deploy Windows operating systems to new computers. So it's time for you to prepare yourself for the rollout of Windows 8 in your office. Cool. Now, I will put this link, this link right here at the bottom of the description of this video. Uh, you basically go and check out the overview and all the tools that this will provide you. Uh, it basically gives you as well as the requirement system requirements for this to be installed. Uh, for me, I installed it on a Windows 7 virtual machine. A uh, couple of problems because I need to uh, have service pack, uh, I believe, two. And so I'm having a lot of issues with the tools, but I'm going to show you guys how to get yourself up and running. Uh, so download this app and just install it. And uh, first thing that you do when you double click on that application, you're going to get this nice little Microsoft.Framework dialog box. You need to accept this and install it. The next thing that was going to come is this this and he's going to do a reboot once you reboot your machine and you log into the machine you're going to see this little window right here on the upper left corner do not worry about it uh, this is actually the ADK doing its thing uh, once that uh, once that disappears you get this to specify the location I left the default as the C drive um, again virtual machine so my virtual machine hard drive is real small but the uh, the disk requirement is about five gigs. Hit next. I don't really want to do the customer support, so I hit no. Next, accept it. Yes. Now these are all the tools by default on the deployment tools: Windows pre-installation environment and Windows performance and Windows assessment toolkits are the only ones default. I was kind of greedy and I checked everything off and increased the the disk required. And on top of that, it took forever to install, but I got it done hit the install button get this nice little as you can see I got greedy I checked everything off hit next oh so, sorry guys uh, so I actually checked off and I did screenshots of what's what and the deployment toolkits gives you this what it gives you for the, the Windows PE what it gives you for the USMT, which is the user state migration tool, uh, volume activation management tool, Windows performance toolkit, Windows assessment toolkit, and Windows assessment server client. Get this little bot dialog box. For me, it took forever. Again, I'm doing it on a virtual machine. Once it's completed, you get this. I checked off the uh, launch the getting start guide. And once I did that, uh, basically, you will receive this. Uh, a Windows ADK quick start it gives you a rundown of different scenarios that you're gonna be doing it's pretty cool it's free so if you guys are planning to deploy Windows 8 to your machine or you do have a small group that you want to start testing with this is the way to do it um, start testing that stuff out making sure applications will work properly with Windows 8 environment as well as how is the deployment scenario will go about um, I believe uh, SCCM uh, System Center Configuration Manager uh, has a service pack one on beta which I did a video review on that uh, it looks like the service pack one beta is supportive for Windows 8 and as well as MDT 2012 is also supported for Windows 8 deployment so check that out at my channel um, other than that uh, once all that installation is done you go to start you get all these goodies right here Windows kits Windows ADK, Windows Performance Two Kicks, and that's about it. Hopefully, you know, future episodes, I'm gonna go over. I gotta fix my virtual machine and get it to par for these applications to work properly in the future videos. Most likely, I'm gonna show you how all the tools are working, how to get yourself set up, so you can start um, um, getting ready for the Windows 8 deployment at your office. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video, 
and at the very bottom please leave comments and let me know what you guys think about this video as well as give me a thumbs up if you enjoy it and at the very top right there there is a subscribe button hit that subscribe button and to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software and don't forget about gaming so i catch you guys later and thank you